somebody. Mr. Angelo said, I don't want to go back. Mum drives like she's got chewing gum on the wheels. The car jerks and shudders. She scrapes the side of the gutter as we turn the corner. Our old car is clunking furiously as we head towards the beach. Only when we see the sea sparkling under the summer sun does the car stop clunking. There is a parking spot and Mum swerves into it, squealing the tires. The restaurant is expensive, overlooking the surf and the sand. Mum asks for a table right at the window so we can look out. A waiter in, the bla in a black shirt and trousers hands Mum a menu and then me. Would you like something to drink while you look over the menu? I shake my head. Mum ignores me. Yes, we'd like one pineapple juice and one watermelon and passion fruit juice. Both large, please. The waiter leaves and Mum takes my hand. We're going to have a good time, Jack. Come on, smile. I turn up the sides of my mouth. What a pathetic smile. Mum makes a ridiculous, ridiculous face and I do smile. Mum insists that I order a big T-bone steak, even though it costs too much money. There are hot potato wedges with salad and tomatoes and mayonnaise sauce. Mum has salmon. The bread is hot and melts in your mouth. I feel better and I have four slices. Mum has two. We watch the surfers paddle out into the waves. I like body surfing. The main thing is not getting too worried about being dumped by a wave. Samantha hates being dumped and always ends up on the beach making a sandcastle. But Anna likes surfing. I've decided that I'm going to spend more time with you and Samantha. The mortgage is manageable these days, especially with Rob's help. Life just can't be about working. The waiter arrives with two super deluxe sundaes. Chocolate and lemon gelato swirl into a peak of nut, hot chocolate sauce, and pink marshmallows. Mum laughs. Forget dieting forever. Nana should be here. She'd love this, I said. You're right, Jack. Next time we'll bring her. Sticky marshmallow slides deliciously down my throat. Mom gives me one of her marshmallows. I do feel a bit better. A joke flashes into my mind. What do you get when you cross a marshmallow with a mouth? What do you get, Jack? Nothing. I've eaten it. <laughs> Mom laughs and I laugh. I don't know why we think it's so funny, but it just is. Everything seems funny. When I point to a lady in a spotted bikini, we laugh. Mum points to a man with a floppy hat. That makes us really laugh. When I point to a dog with a waggy tail, we just go hysterical. Eventually, we stop laughing, but we can't mention the waggly tail, otherwise we'll start again. Mum orders a cappuccino with lots of white froth and chocolate sprinkles. She lets me eat the froth and the sprinkles. Jack, we need to talk about a few things. School, Rob, bullying, and you. I don't want to talk. I can't think about those things now. But not today. We need a rest, Mom says. She understands everything. After the restaurant, we take off our shoes and walk along the sand. Mom's sunflower looks golden. Jack, it'll be all right. I don't know if it'll be all right. What I do know is that I have Mom and my family. Anna and Mr. and Mrs. Napoli are nearly family.